All right, well, back Daughters of Ash remastered. Uh, you know, I had thoughts about what I was gonna do when I got back in game, and those thoughts are gone. I I wanted to go to Andre for some reason, but I don't remember why. Oh well, something I learned off. Off screen about the dragon stuff is apparently having the dragon head on increases fire damage, making it really good for a pyromancer playthrough. Another note the dragon torso gives you an absurdly high unarmed damage. So you could just be a very powerful glass cannon and, and if you go with the dragon torso unarmed. Plus you plus using the dragon torso gives you the force spell. Which means you're gonna knock away you're gonna knock away eh, everything, people, spells, all that kind of stuff. And it give, and using the, and using that roar, g her also gives you uh, a, a strength boost for a short period of time. So yeah, the dr dragon stones can actually be really good, specifically in this first game. No other game. Trust me, I looked at the other games to see how viable it was in them. It isn't. Not even remotely. It's just not even remotely viable in either of the other two games. They're only viable here. So now what I'm worried about is... Where did the Capper Demon go? I really should hunt that down before it's just like, surprise! I'm hanging out here in Undeadburg. What the f fuck? Bullshit, they hit me. I hate you too, camera. Attack? Yeah, no, it's probably easier to just go back through Firelink and deal with deal with going through on Deadburg that way. If I do want more souls to buy more sorceries. Wait, what am I doing? Up the stairs. Kill this guy. And here we go, wow. I'm basically already an undead bird yeah, already. Oh my god, where's the grass kite shield at this point? I did not remember to make sure my sword is repaired. It's 
So, uh, there's an issue. I might have to rely on the dragon head. Which honestly doesn't sound like that bad of an idea. Is it just me or is that door to lower on Dead Berg look like a fog gate? Hmm. Something weird's going on over there. It's a good thing that's what I'm here to investigate. Hey, you, uh No, I thought you were gonna aggro sooner, but I guess not. Yep, there's that guy hanging off the side. Which I s somehow took the longest time to notice. I guess it's just now loaded in, okay. Watch it be on the Hellkite bridge. <laughs> Let's rest here, not have 10 flasks because it's not that, because it's not kindled. Let's keep going. So it's gone to greater heights, what does that mean? That thing hanging off the side of that bridge, and God, damn, I can hear you following me. Stop. Or is that just like weird charred bits? Yeah. That's not open from this. It's literally unopenable. Both sides say do not does not open from this side. Oh, now you're gonna let me run through, huh? Wow, that dragon was just ignored me. Dragon. Oh, he Okay, no, he's just broken today. Got it. How are you alive? Stop it. Okay, you know what? There's a simpler way to do this. Let's see here. Oh. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Can I not look at the wiki in peace? Capricious Thrall, that's what it was called.
Oh no. Okay. He moved to the Iron Golem boss chamber. I get to fight two bosses at one time now. Oops, that's not shield. And apparently f fighting it has a time limit before it moves to the next location. Oh, but don't worry, you can only fight it four times and it's... The weapon drop is very rare. Why the heck not? Wait, what? Hold up. Why is it saying... Notes, it is possible for the player never acquire ability to warp in a playthrough. Why is that on the Capra Demons page? The fuck? Okay, you need to beat this guy to gain the ability to make chaos weapons. Um, excuse me? You have to beat... You have to beat the capricious thrall to gain fast travel. This mod is garbage. I am not going to recommend this mod to anyone specifically for that. You have to beat a boss that has a time limit and you only have four attempts against. Which means if you fail all four times, that's it. No fast travel ever. This, that's actual garbage. Holy shit, why would they do that? I am actually baffled by that decision. That is not okay. Do not. Wow, right in the center of my chest. It's almost like they're aim bots or something. Let's go back to depths, like, after I remind myself of all the prices. What? How did that not hit you at all?
There it goes. Wait, where am I going? This is not the correct direction. Oh, right, because I wanted to remind myself of all the magic costs. Oh my god, I'm almost tempted to, like, give up on sorcery and go for Pyromancer or with this dragon head. God, then I'd have to start upgrading that as well, as well as act buying actual pyromancies. Which... just have no uses. But they are a lot cheaper. Let's see here... Piercing one is 40k! <laughs> oh man... I need 53,000 to buy the rest of his magic. And that needs to happen before I... Or like... Before he moves to... Duke's archives. Because his inventory is gonna... Gonna reset after that, which means I can buy extra copies of everything so that... I can increase my spell usage. For spells I want more of. Really? It's not necessary. Aim at that guy. Okay, doesn't have that much range. But I can still move while using it, so... So if they get close, I can just back up. It's actually really nice. Make this plunge. The sluice works. City of the Undead? I'm pretty sure this is just sewers. Hey, giant rat, how's it going? I guess he's not a big fan of fire. What the fuck is so OP? Alright, 
let's see here. Here's the door. Where are you going, rat? There he goes. Goddamn rude. I could jump over it, but there should be a path to walk around it. God, why do I even have a sword? Fine, no problem. I feel like that didn't hit it very much. There it goes. Yeah, see, I knew there'd be a path to walk around that. This way, I don't have to fight anything backed up against the pit. That way, yeah, that leads to the basilisk. Let's not fall down that pit. Pretty sure those are rat boxes, as long as you don't roll through them. Silver Weary Hunter. Fucking excuse me? The Chandler's in the boss arena now. I see. There you go. More poison throwing knives. Why? Like, are they trying to make you more likely to use consumables by not requiring you to buy them or something? I don't know. Why? Why are you like this? <sighs> Let's get rid of poison. Pine resin. You know what? What even is my intelligence right now? 15? Because I've been putting all my stats into uh, endurance and attunement and vitality. I don't think there's anything stopping me from, like, swapping the Pyromancer. 
Plus then I'd get combustion, which is absurdly overpowered. Because it's a guaranteed stagger on everything. Wait, which way am I supposed to be going? Oh, probably this way. Here we go. Yeah, I guess that's all the depths. Why did you only get hit once? I should have let off two fireballs. Hmm, you know what? Oh, the bu no, my bonfire's down here. Yeah, slimes are weak to fire, which means... Dragon Breath is going to tear them apart. There you are. How did none of that hit? I knew there was something funky with the first slime I breathed fire at. Okay, so let's experiment. Does Kirk respawn? Like, I've been to different areas and everything, so, like... So, like, this is the best time to experiment. My god, just fucking hit it. There we go. As uh Yeah no, I basically just need like a fire weapon and just pyromancy, let's go. There it goes. I hate this camera too. 